I know. Get him. That small one's just right in there. Look at his color. <laughs> What's up, guys? Salty Brackish Fresh. Welcome back to the channel. And today we have an insane one. I'm not going to bullshit you. It's crazy. Keep watching if you want to see a live feeding. If you are not okay with that, click off now. And for those of you that missed me, I'm sorry. I'm back for good. I won't be missing any more days. Let's get it. Okay, so this guy here lives in a trailer. I know it seems like you couldn't put a fish tank this big in a trailer, but he has done it. And what he has in this bucket is a peacock bass. A one and a half foot or two foot peacock bass, which I assume he had to have caught and uh the only place that i know that they live is florida so i think he caught one of the invasive peacock bass and he plans to feed it to his snakeheads and in theory this sounds like okay this would be cool to watch i want to see a snakehead's power like let's see what it can do but this guy in the video seems to be a little bit weird and in the comments section everyone's tearing him up they're saying that he is just like the adolf hitler of fish so let me know what you guys think comment down below once you're done watching the video uh is this humane or not survives any survives no we can put the other one in there yeah. no, he's not gonna survive he's gonna try to make himself look big whoa so the peacock bass is already getting chased by the three giant snakeheads and if you heard the woman in the beginning she said should we put the other one in there so i'm assuming that they actually went out and caught another peacock bass and they just decided to put this one in first and that's what they're not going to show us on camera Look at him trying to make himself look big, eh? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, they took a chunk out of him. Yeah. It's dinner time. Get him. Enough waiting around. They don't just know get. Look at the three of them, eh? They're just like, huh, should we get it or not? It looks kind of big. It's a little guy that's going after him too. Damn, okay, so I don't like to hate on people feeding their fish, but like why are, a peacock bass is expensive at this size. I mean look at that thing. This thing must be worth like what seventy five dollars probably, eighty dollars. So I don't know why you would really want to feed it to them and also just listening to this guy it makes me kind of cringe like it's just really hard to listen to he sounds just i don't know he sounds evil sorry like i don't mean to judge him but he does sound kind of like that This guy's gonna he's gonna cower for the rest of his life. You guys are pussies. Eat that fucking thing. Go eat it. Damn bro, come on, I know I'm not monetized, but you're gonna get me blocked from YouTube searches now. Well, I don't know what to do with that thing now. Leave it in there. Oh, I, they're just going to chew it apart. So his wife suggested to get the minnows instead to feed them, but this guy... He just wants to see them tear them apart, as he said. And, I mean, this when I feed my mantis shrimp and he's going against, like, a crab and say he doesn't uh, eat it completely, 
Like, he just, it's just in his tank, and he's just fighting it over time. It's kind of, like, not what I want him to do, so it's kind of just not, like, I, I don't want to torture the crab, so I'll always just take it out and save it for only on live feeding when my, my shrimp is really hungry. Um, but this guy seems to really like that part, and that's the part where I guess, I don't know, I, I just don't, I don't like to see that. Well, I know not to throw big fish in there anymore. Take him out, buddy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bro, tell me his laugh is not just Satan. Like, I, I'm not. I'm trying not to hate, but bro, you're literally Satan. Come on. You vicious suckers. They want it dead first, and I used to love bait that big. Oh, I know. Get him! That small one's just right in there. Look at his color. <laughs> Jesus, that peacock bass is not a small fish either. That thing is like a foot and a half. So if you can imagine, that snake head has to be like five feet long to just eat him in one gulp like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> doesn't even know what happened my god well at least it had a quick death i think um cichlids are like some of the smarter fish and peacock bass are a type of cichlid so hopefully it didn't suffer i mean let's be real though the snakehead is an awesome fish like that was just a, that was an amazing takedown like it's it's almost like a gopher catfish the way it just swallowed that thing whole and no one would be saying anything if it was a regular bass. And so that's basically the reason why I thought I'll show it to you guys. I'll let you see what you guys think. Um, comment down below. Do you think that it's okay to feed a peacock bass? Does it make it a difference between that and just like a regular largemouth bass? Like what about that? If he fed that to his snakeheads, would that be okay? And I'm going to try to bring you more content. I'm sorry about the lagging guys. Uh, if you want another video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.